Okay, so especially for those of you who are dealing with like disputes in a family home type of situation, I do sense that um, it's okay for you to do it with your friends. It's okay for you to do it depending on whoever it is that you um, you have a very strong affinity with and you might feel that, um, you know, if it's done in a joking way, um, it's fine. It's totally fine. But you have to make sure the other party that you're engaged with in like this verbal debate understand where you're coming from, okay? Otherwise, they might feel like very, very um, nervous. They might also feel as if um, they might go out of their way to defend yourself by saying the wrong things, by saying potentially hurtful things. At the same time, like I mentioned, use it to your discretion. Um, if you are trying to get at a truth in a argument, make sure that it that's what you're trying to get at rather than trying to cut the other person down, okay? So be just be careful with the way words are expressed, words are used for this week, if you can. Okay, so um, let's look at the cards here. So in the past position, I do have the sun in the upright position. So this indicates to me a lot of success. A lot of new opportunities are kind of like falling on your lap. And these opportunities look very fruitful and they have a lot of potential for success in general. So that's what's uh, in your past position. As for what's coming in here, I feel that a lot of you might be involved with like a fire sign. A lot of you might be involved with a fire sign in a romance, in a home type of situation, okay? So it could be like potentially wanting to take the um, relationship or friendship to the next level or social interaction to the next level, potentially forming partnerships with a fire sign and you're not sure what you want to do, okay? Mainly because it is in the reverse position. So I do feel that... Um, innately there are differences in opinions between you and a fire sign so you're not really sure if um you're trying i feel like you might try to convince them and they're kind of hesitant about it so they're kind of backing off and they don't really want this partnership okay it could be a work partnership or a romantic partnership or even like a family situation even like friendship so they're kind of like standoffish when it comes to like um how well they get along with you. So I do sense that you both communicate in very different ways. And that's why I would say like, um, try to understand where the other person is coming from and try to curb your, um, try to curb that, um, that penchants for, um, argumentation. I do sense that, um, that will be required of you. Okay. And at the same time, if the other person tells you like, okay, I just don't like something, you know, when it comes to like preferences, um, we don't always know why we have an affinity for something or why we dislike something or why we are like repulsed by something. So when it comes to like personal preferences, you can't really like um, ask somebody, for example, why they don't like strawberry ice cream is because, you know, personal preference is because they don't like the taste. OK, so asking people to like over explain it's kind of like you're attacking them as a person. So please curb that sense of argumentativeness when you interact, especially with a fire sign, because um, they might lose their temper, okay? So just be careful about that situation if you are dealing with it. And if you're somewhat, um, if, if this resonates with you, just try to curb that temptation, okay? In terms of what's crowning you here, I have the Seven of Cups in the reverse position, which indicates to me in general that um, a lot of these illusions, a lot of things that were promised are basically like, um, they have no bearing on reality, so they're gradually, gradually being weeded out of your life, okay? So this is a card that is, you know, indicative of um, illusions dissipating and the true thing will remain, okay? So at this point, you know what you want to do. And you know who actually is in your life for the right reason or who who are in your life, who is in your life for the right reason. So um, you are trying to figure out at this point the choices that are left over or the things that you want to proceed with. And at this point, you're still at that um you're still at the process of elimination. So I do feel like, you know, you you might have started out with like seven, seven potential love interests. And then you 
they went through, you know, the, the dating interview with you and they're just like gradually weeding themselves out or you weeded them out and you might end up with like two, I'm sensing two, you might have like two potential love interests that, that you are thinking about or, or, you know, relationship partners or work partnerships that you're thinking about or even work choices. Okay. Or even like, um, options or opportunities for a housing situation. So a lot of you might have just um, um, been very like proactive or very aggressive about like trying to find a house as well. And now new opportunities are coming through and you have like a property in mind that you might want to like settle, um, that you might want to purchase or rent out. Okay, so that's a, a possibility as well. In terms of what's in your environment that you're not aware of here, I have the five of coins. So I'm getting here for a lot of you, it might be related to a property because of the four of wands in the reverse position. So a lot of you might have undergone like divorces or separations or you were kind of like forcefully, um, like you were forced out of your house possibly or you were forced to find a new dwelling or new environment. So... Um, you're just thinking, oh, there's no way I can't afford it. But at the same time, the Five of Pentacles is reversed. So at this point, if, with a little bit of research, with a little bit of research, with a little bit of like insights. And um, I do feel the Ace of Swords here is a card of research in this context. Because choices are gradually dwindling down and there's a property that you are thinking about. So you might purchase or rent a property and you're just um, you found like the, the right place is not like entirely your cup of tea and you're going through like negotiations with another party to lower the price. And I do feel that, um, it, it's going to be a little bit problematic. So that's what I mean by, you know, um, try not to be too abrasive in the negotiation process. Okay. So in terms of the advice here, we have the moon in the upright position, and um, I'm going to be go out, out on a limb here and just say that you want to be really careful for this week because the people around you that you're interacting with are not truthful, okay? I do feel that you yourself are, you are very truthful. Uh, earth signs are generally, earth and fire signs are very truthful. But the people around you might be a little bit evasive, okay? So if somebody is like doing the disappearing act, if they're like trying to avoid you and they're trying to be evasive, whenever you ask them like important questions, um, don't even waste your time. They're going to ha give you the runaround and you're just going to end up like wasting a lot of time ending up with nothing. Okay. So that's an indicator. I do feel that you're being yanked around here. So, um, if you are at all in any type of a situation where people are just kind of leading you on, they're being evasive, it's because, um, they're passive aggressive and you were like really passive and upfront and they don't really know how to deal with you. And they, they know that if they engage into like a negotiation with you, you're going to win and their boss would get really upset. So that's why they're being evasive. So don't even waste your time. Just find another property, find another situation where people are more straightforward, where you don't even have to negotiate to begin with. So I do feel like a little bit of troubles coming through in terms of finding like a new dwelling. Okay. At the same time, there might be like um, people with your, then your family who might rub you the wrong way. And, you know, like, um, they don't really answer the important questions when you ask them. So just leave, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just try to maintain harmony and leave it alone. And in terms of your external environment here, I have the six of swords, which is, um, somebody, um, from your past, is potentially cycling back in somebody uh, I, I feel like for Virgo and men it might be like a, a an ex for Virgo and women it can be like a family member but it can also be like um like some somebody that you were once you had a really good rapport with somebody is coming back in and I do feel that um in this situation if it was like a relationship that went awry, I do sense that you're not going to get new outcomes from this situation, okay? It's not going to lead down to a better path. Um, I mainly say that with exes in general. So just be careful. It's If it's a family situation, you know, I do feel that family members are worth um, investing in mainly because a lot of the family um, relationships are 
uh, very karmic. So if you avoid those karmic lessons, you will have to repeat them eventually, and especially in more different difficult circumstances. So it is best to resolve family karma. But when it comes to relationships, you know, they, they come and go. And honestly, um, if it didn't work out the first few times, it's not going to work out now. So a lot of you might be like um, encountering another, like a person from your past coming in for like a potential, um, coming in for like round two for a potential conflict. Okay, so just be careful about how they've interacted with you in the past and vice versa. And then try not to... Um, uh, get your hopes up about rekindling the situation. A lot of you, like it could be an ex, ex-partner, like an ex-marriage partner, an ex-spouse. And for a lot of you, I feel like um, uh, there's an element of family related to this. So, you know, a spouse, an ex could also be considered a, a family member. So somebody that you once lived with, I feel, is um, coming back in, all right? And um, it is going to make you quite nervous. And I do sense that... Um, it's not written in the stars for you to rekindle or go back to this situation, mainly because you're being blocked by a cosmic energy that is bigger than yourself. This is the wheel of fortune in the reverse position. So you are hoping for like uh, an opportunity possibly to resolve or rekindle. And I would say that, um, it's not going to play out in your favor, mainly because the outcome, we have the wish card in the reverse position, okay? So if it is a house that you have your eye on and you're looking for negotiations, I do feel that um, your your agent or the other person's agent, they're being evasive, mainly because they don't want to settle on that price. And they're going to give you the runaround, so just you know, scrap that person, scrap that house situation, find something else, okay? Um, you do have more than enough um, financial, like, um, you do have enough money at your disposal, so I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. So just, you know, keep in mind that I do sense um, there is a little bit of disappointment coming through for this week, okay? Things not panning out and, and things like that. But um, more than anything, it's going to be frustrating because people are not being upfront and honest. So they're giving you the runaround and you end up wasting a lot of your time that could be used constructively. So that's why you're going to be a little bit upset. But these are minor setbacks, I feel, compared to the time that you're going to waste. So I will just, you know, go ahead and say that, you know, don't waste your time this week because more than anything, that's the, the thing you're going to regret the most. So... If people are being evasive, just leave it alone. They're, they they don't have to, the guts to tell you how they feel. They're being very passive aggressive and it's really annoying. Okay, so don't waste your time. And um, in terms of what's coming in as well, we have the page of wands, which is, you know, stall communications as well or bad news coming through. So I do feel a little bit of a disappointment is at work here. At the same time, we have the Ace of Coins, which is um, financial windfall, which is like investment. Okay, so okay, so now it's starting to make sense actually with this Ace of um, Ace of Coins. Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords, and this is similar to what uh, Scorpio got for their monthly reading, which is you have a really really good idea, and you're trying to find financial backers. Okay. And uh, you're trying to pitch this idea. A lot of you are trying to pitch this idea. You have a very good income generating um, option, like income generating idea. And you're trying to manifest it in the real world. And I do feel that you're trying to find that ideal partnership and you're going around trying to like um, sell your ideas or at least, you know, promote your ideas. And I do feel that a lot of people are, are like giving you the runaround. And that's why it's really important for you. You're pressed for time. And you're encounter, encountering all these blockages and you really have to, there's, there's an element of timing here in which you have a certain, a small time window for, to um, find an investor or to pitch this idea. And then people are giving you the runaround. So at the end of it, you're really frustrated that you wasted time more than the fact that, you know, they were annoying to deal with. It's just time was wasted when you could have like hit every investor in the books okay so um as a result i do feel that um because of the whole timing situation um 
you're not going to be able to get the funding that you need in the amount of time. Um, there's also an element here of somebody else dependent on you to get this financial backing. So it's almost like um, it's almost like writing a grant, and then um, you know getting feedback that oh um, we're not approval uh, we're, we're we can't approve your grant, and then it's like you have other people you have partners that um, are reliant on you for this grant. There are people that need to be paid for their services, for example, and right now you're just like you you have to be the bearer of bad news, which is something that you don't want to do and you don't want to disappoint others. So it's not like only disappointing to you is it's the fact that you're disappointing others as a result. Okay, I'm actually going to pull out two more cards just to see. I don't really want to end on a financial uh, situation with the star in the reverse position because that feels like very sad. So let me just pull out two more cards and see um, if the situation itself is going to get resolved, you know, anytime this month. So come on, will this situation get resolved? Okay. Okay, so rest assured it is going to be fine. You're um, going to achieve success with this. And I do feel it is um, also associated with travel. There's going to be like an opportunity to travel where you meet that angel investor. If not an angel investor, then I at least somebody who is very financially endowed who will, um, who will like um, guide you in the right direction in order to achieve success. Okay, so don't worry the situation itself. This is just you know the energy for the week. I do feel in the greater scheme of things for the rest of the month, it is going to pan out in a way that is very favorable to you. Okay. And at the end of it, I do feel this is your card here, Virgo. So you're going to be sitting pretty and you're going to be well taken care of. And in this situation, um, the financial windfall will come for you. Okay, so don't distress. Please don't distress over this situation. Um, I feel in general, a lot of Virgos, um, you have like, um, whenever you undertake something, you, you have really thought it through. Okay, so you like... Um, touch upon every possible scenario, like worst case, best case scenario, and everything in between. So when you do something, it turns golden, okay? So don't worry about it and don't stress yourself over it. And the other people around you will understand. So um, don't be disappointed. Don't be afraid that they're going to be disappointed in you. They partner up with you knowing your capability, so they are going to have faith in you, okay? So just tell them not yet rather than no. Just tell them not yet, not yet, and then um, the right time will come in which you can say, yes, we did it. So don't distress over it. I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, let me know how this plays out for you too for this week.